Hi, I'm Jose Armenta, and this is your Federal Employee Benefits, where we cover topics in the helping first federal employees like you make smart financial decisions. Today, we're going to cover five ways that federal law enforcement benefits are different than regular federal employee benefits. Okay, so it's going to be a great video. Now, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first way that your federal legal uh, benefits are different than regular federal employee benefits is that you have often a mandatory and early retirement option. Okay, so as a, a law uh, special provisional employees are usually required to uh, have a mandatory retirement date. Okay, for federal LEOs, it's often uh, 57. And you often have an early retirement. Okay, so for federal LEOs, your retirement options are you can retire at age 50 with 20 years of service or any age with 25 years of service. Okay, so that's very unique uh, versus the options that regular federal employees have. Now, on top of your early retirement option, the other way that your benefits are different than regular FERS federal employees is that you have an enhanced pension multiplier. Okay, so, uh, you know, what that means is the way that they computate your pension is using a higher multiplier than for a regular FERS employee. So, as a quick review, the formula for uh, calculating your first pension is you take your years of service multiplied by your high three multiplied by your pension multiplier. Okay, now for FERS regular employees, it's usually a 1% multiplier. Now they may get a 10% bonus if they retire with 20 years at age 62. Okay, but usually it's gonna be 1%. Now as a FERS federal employees, your pension mul mul multiplier is 1.7. Okay, 1.7% uh, multiplier. So that's a, a huge benefit. Um, now, granted, it's only for the first 20 years of your service. Okay, so let's say you do 25 years of service your pension multiplier will be 1.7 for the first 20 years. And then, uh, regardless of whether you did a LEO service or you went and took a, um, a non-LEO position after 20 years, your pension multiplier would be uh, a 1%. Okay, now the third way that your federal LEO benefits are different than regular FERS federal employee benefits uh, involves the first retirement supplement, okay, or the first supplement. Now, this is a, an additional paycheck that you get on top of your FERS uh, pension, and uh, it, you will receive this pension supplement until age 62 when you are eligible for Social Security. Now, with regular FERS employees, they have an earnings limit similar to Social Security, okay? Uh, meaning that after they earn um, in, in excess of this limit, their benefit is reduced and can stop. Now, that's not the case with the federal LEOs, okay, or any other special provision employee, you uh, don't have an earnings limit, meaning you can earn as much as you want until your MRA, your minimum retirement age, and not have your supplement reduced or stopped. So that's a huge benefit, okay? If you retire at age 50, you can receive, uh, and your MRA is age 57, that means you have seven years, okay, where you can have uh, your first pension, your pension supplement, and have an additional uh, source of earned income. So, you know, let's say a part-time job or uh, a second career, and that won't impact your supplement. Now, once you reach your MRA, you will be subject to the earnings limit, just like any other first employees. But you have, again, you can have seven plus years where your supplement is not impacted by your earned income. Okay, and now the fourth way that your benefits are different than regular first federal employees it has to do with your TSP withdrawal, okay? Now, quick review. Typically, with a retirement account, there's an early withdrawal penalty, okay? Meaning that if you withdraw from your TSP before age 59 and a half, you get hit with a 10% early withdrawal penalty. Now, that's not the case for federal employees, regular for federal employees, who separate from service, retire, what have you, uh, at, in the year that they turn 55, okay? They can withdraw from the TSP penalty-free. Now, as a, a federal LEO, it's even uh, more lenient for you, okay? Now, um, you can work any time that you retire, any time that you're eligible to retire, you can start to withdraw from your TSP penalty-free. So whether that's at age 50 with 20 years of service or any age with 25 years of service, you can start to withdraw from your TSP penalty-free, okay? So that's 
Um, that makes things a lot easier than it used to be for federal LEOs, uh, and it's great news for all of you. And the fifth and final way your LEO benefits are different uh, have to do with COLAs, cost of living adjustments. Now, for regular first federal employees, COLAs do not start on your first pension until age 62. But for federal LEOs, COLAs start immediately. Okay, you get cost of living adjustments immediately um, uh, on the first year of your retirement, okay, which is huge. Okay, that can have a significant impact on the growth of your pension uh, throughout your retirement. So it's a huge benefit, uh, something to be aware of. As a federal LEO, you have distinct and robust benefits that can help you uh, achieve your retirement goals. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. That's the best way to support this channel. And until next time, I'm Jose Armenta. Take care.